Eva here with Eva LaVey Arts and today I will be using these label stickers that I picked up at Tuesday morning to create some stickers with my primary elements. I have here the France Papillon set Dreamcatcher. I'll be using Jasmine Solar Gold and Black Orchid. It also comes with Hunter Gray but I'm not using that one today. And I'll also be using these Radiant Gels, and I'll be using Stargazer, Snapdragon, and Baboom Red. So I will be definitely putting a lot of texture and color and just making a big beautiful mess on these stickers. And you'll just have to trust me when I say that they turn out really great <laughs> and that it's going to go through kind of an ugly phase or it's definitely going to look just crazy <laughs> but it will uh, just look awesome once I take the backing paper off. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding some black lines and I'm using my Pentel Arts pocket brush pen for this and I just kind of want to do some swirlies and get some curved lines in here. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. I really just want to make sure I get a little bit of black on each sticker. I'm going to be using these stickers on an art journal page later and I'll be using my black Dilutions 8x8 art journal. Uh, so I want to make sure I have some black on these that will just go with the black paper that they will be on. I'm giving that a quick dry with my heat gun and then I will move on to adding some color. So the first thing I'll do to add some color to this is create a glaze with my primary elements in jasmine and some primary elements all-purpose glazing medium. And I'll just take my palette knife, add some of the powder to the glazing medium and spread that on. And as you can see, it's a beautiful bright pink. And next I'll do the same with the black orchid, which is a much deeper burgundy-ish pink, I guess is how you would describe that color. <laughs> um, so then I'll give that a quick dry with my heat gun. Next, I'll take a stencil and some of the Radiant Gel in Snapdragon to add some more texture to the stickers. And this is a dimensional paint and it will add not just visual texture, but actual physical texture. So I'm just drying that with my heat gun now. So I've given that a dry and now I'll add some more texture with a Stargazer Radiant Gel and a little stencil that I cut out with my Silhouette Machine and just adding even more texture. It's looking pretty messy, huh? But I love it. So guess what? We're going to use another stencil and some Va Boom Red to add even more texture. Because remember these are all different stickers so you're not going to get all of this isn't just one big piece. These are tons of separate little pieces. So you want to make sure that you get something on each one of those little circle stickers. So this is going to add variety to your stickers, 
but yet they will all look like they go together. So Now I'm going to take some Liquitex glass bead gel and I'm going to mix that with the solar gold primary elements so I can get some well look, I'm going to get it all over myself first <laughs> and then I'm going to mix it and I will end up with a really pretty gold beaded textured mixture that I'm just going to spread over some of the stickers with my palette knife. And right now it doesn't look that great but it does dry clear so that milky kind of color to it will will just fade and then everything will just look gold and gorgeous. So after drying, the moment of truth has come and it is time to reveal the stickers by removing the backing sheet. So I'm going to tell you that this was uh, a little bit challenging. So I've put this in super speed mode. Um, all of that texture, like the radiant gels, the glass beads, uh, it creates a skin, if you will. So you have to sort of tear away the backing and being careful not to tear the stickers. And the stickers have already been, you know, die cut. So they do come apart rather easily. You just have to, you know, apply pressure and pull the backing sheet with your other hand so that it will stay behind on the sticker sheet and not come up with the backing. And I'm saving those uh, backing sheet pieces that I'm tearing off by uh, sticking them to some deli paper and those will make some great scraps for mixed media pieces later. So here we have the finished product. Those are some very beautiful stickers, if I do say so myself. And the color art projects just shimmer and shine and create beautiful texture on these stickers. So next I'll show you what you can do with these gorgeous stickers. I'm going to create an art journal page. And the idea I have is a little girl holding a bunch of balloons. And I just thought these pretty circles would make great balloons. So I'm going to go ahead and use a white pastel pencil to draw in my girl before I ink her. And yeah, this process is pretty self-explanatory, so I'll go ahead and let you watch in peace. It's at this point that I look back and decide that that girl is too big for those balloons. So I'm going to erase her and try to resize her and see if that works better. And 
I used the eraser all over the background because I didn't want it to uh, be noticeable that I had done the erasing before. So that just helped blend it in to the background. And now that I'm happy with the little girl, I'm taking a white jelly roll pen and inking her in as well as the strings for the balloons. And after I've done that, I'll take my scissors and I'll snip away some of the balloons that are going off the page. And that's a good tip for your composition. Make sure to let things fall off the page so that it looks like the design continues. Next I'll add a border with the Stargazer Radiant Gels in my palette knife. And after a quick dry with my heat gun, I'll take the white jelly roll pin and write in my sentiment, dream in color. And I used the British spelling just to go along with the color art name. And then I decide that the color needs to be in color. So I take some of the jasmine primary elements and mix it with the glazing medium and color over that white jelly roll pin but then you can see it on the background and I I don't really like the way that looks so after going over the word color with my metallic pink Posca paint pen I decide to create a little more of that jasmine glaze and go over the dream in as well so I you can see a block of color where the sentiment goes and I'll go over the dream in with the white jelly roll pen once again because I do want those to be in white I just wanted the color to be in color so then I decide to outline the balloons with the white jelly roll pen as well. Now I could have left it like this, but I decided to go ahead and mix up some light modeling paste with the primary elements in solar gold and apply that through this star stencil with my palette knife just to add some texture and some whimsy because I like it. I will tell you that using this Liquitex modeling paste which is matte does dull down that solar gold just a bit. It still looks good but just something to keep in mind when you're choosing which mediums you'd like to use. I did lose a little bit of footage here where I am outlining the color in white gel pen just to help it pop a little bit more. But then I am done with this page. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the Color Art YouTube channel where there are dozens of talented artists and lots of inspiration to go around. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Leave me some love and visit my channel if you haven't already. It's Eva LeVay Arts on YouTube. So thanks for tuning in. Bye!